Let's move on to the Citrus Bowl, and that would be Iowa against Kentucky. And Kentucky is favored by three as it sits right now. Let's let's go through the gifts here. The Citrus Bowl is giving a whew, gracious four hundred dollar Amazon gift card. I just said I could do damage with one fifty. I could certainly, certainly get in trouble with $400 from Amazon. A fossil watch, an OGO backpack, and a commemorative football. That's not bad. Like, I could I could get down with that. So, I, I like these that actually list it out as opposed to just, you know, bowl gift. Not a, not a fan of uh, the, the gift suite. That's it. The gift suite. Not a fan of the gift suite. Uh, but either way. So, the Citrus Bowl here. I got notes on this. Here we go. Turnover margin. Iowa number two, Kentucky number 127. Penalty yards, Iowa number seven, Kentucky number 24. And yet the Iowa offense is so incredibly putrid. Number 122 since week seven in offensive PPA per drive. And Kentucky's defense, while it hasn't been great this season compared to uh, the standards that they have set under Mark Stoops, they've still been pretty good. Number 65 in defensive PPA per drive. I... Kentucky's biggest weakness on defense, they are number 108 in defensive pass success rate, but Iowa's number 117 in that metric on offense. I don't know how Iowa scores unless Kentucky gives them the ball, and I don't think Kentucky's going to do that a lot here. I expect a healthy dose of uh, Rodriguez, the running back, along with other guys, uh, because they've got a whole stable of running backs. I think that Kentucky will be content with just running the football because I think they can do that on Iowa. Uh, this is, Kentucky should be able to push them around. I feel pretty strong about it. Uh, it's not an official play for me. Again, you want my official plays, you got to head over to the Bet U.S. College Football Show. But I do like Kentucky to cover the three for my bowl pick em sheet. This is it's a very fun game. Mark Stoops got a little bit of history, of course, with Iowa. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. So uh, I, I am... I am excited for this one. This looks like it could be a fun matchup, and and we could have some crazy stuff happen. Uh, Spencer Petrus is back. Tyler Goodson, the running back, is not going to play, et cetera. But, uh, but I do like Kentucky to cover the three in that game. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.